Okay, I've been invited down by CVP, Great Titchfield Street, at their showroom to check out the new Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K, um, which I think is an interesting camera. It's very small and it packs a lot of features in of some of the bigger cameras that we use, especially the Ursa 12K. So we're going to go take a look and see what it's all about. No, but just in terms of PL, it is a pocket bed in the pro way, so you've got your high beam, you know, um, application. This is very much like to be intrusive. So, yeah, I just had a look at the system, um, as well as some other cool cameras. They've got loads of stuff in there. Uh, I had a really in depth chat with one of the guys from Blackmagic um, about the 6K and, and lots of other stuff as well, actually. Um, a few things that kind of puts it out of the runnings for like virtual production it doesn't have Genlock, so that kind of excludes it from, from tracking. Um, but it does some things I didn't think it would have actually is like autofocus, like push autofocus for, for any lenses that have that. Um, and amazing like image quality and super light, like its size, like it's about the same size as like a 5D or something like that. Um, but actually probably lighter and it even had the grip on it as well, which um, would add a bit of weight. Um, so yeah, it's an interesting camera and I think that we'll, I don't know, I might take a look at one. Um, we also had a brief chat about the 4K like mini studio camera thing, I can't remember what it's called exactly. Um, which is very interesting because it's tiny, it's tiny, it's like a micro four thirds mount. Um, and it can do autofocus and you can even control the lenses depending on the lens like the zoom and the focus like remotely um, all, all kind of from the same system and then that has like triggered isolated recording so you can do ISO recording at 1080 but when you're recording it you could record it separately on all the cameras depending on how many you had so and that's like native b-raw footage so you could have a, a multi-cam setup where you trigger all of these cameras in 4k and then you can edit it afterwards or have the live stream edit of the uh, EDL um, which is a super interesting kind of setup um, and could really really speed things up for for multicam but um, but yeah the 6k kind of cool might take a look at it don't know if it's quite what we would want as flexible as what we want but interesting to see where things are going